Hey everyone, so I basically got a new job. I know I've been MIA for a couple months. 2023, it's a crazy market out there. Let's basically talk about everything that happened and let's talk about Uber. For those of you who may not know me, I'm Priya. I graduated from U Chicago in astrophysics. I've been a data scientist since. I've been a senior data scientist at Drizzly, which is a tech startup under Uber until June 1st. And now I officially just work for Uber under their Uber global ads division. We're gonna go through a lot of things. So Drizzly actually had layoffs. It, there's just so much is going on. And I feel like the last couple of months have just been a whirlwind like I'm early in my career this is the first time I'm seeing everything I also just really care about like data science and doing cool things meanwhile all of these external things are happening in my company that kind of detract from all of my enjoyment of data science so there's like a lot to unpack we're going to talk about the layoffs at Drizzly we're going to talk about me now working for Uber what I'm going to be doing I want to talk about the differences in the different types of data science because now that I'm in a much larger organization at Uber really just working with their corporate corporate structure and their job ladder structure. I want to talk about the different types of data science that you could potentially do at this company. And of course, you know me, we're going to talk about salary and hopefully you learn along the way or just can relate to my story. So going back a couple months, my company announced layoffs. 30% of my entire company were only a 300 person company. So 100 people were just laid off. It was actually kind of insane. There was an email that was sent out in the morning that said in the next 15 minutes you're gonna know like if your role was impacted and like I'm on central time so I actually woke up after all of this happened I didn't like see the email have those 15 heart-wrenching like minutes of you know what's gonna happen really just me and one other person were kept five data scientists were let go it was, it's just like mentally I think it was just hard for me to handle and for anyone so I ended up taking two weeks off and going to Columbia because I just needed a break and like it was a great break I'm honestly very energized back so that's what happened with with Drizzly. Now let's talk about the transition to Uber. I now work in a data team under Uber Global Ads and I have analytics engineers on my team. I'm the only data scientist. It's really unique because Uber Global Ads, it's not under Eats, it's not under Rideshare. It's really, it's its own revenue generating product, like advertisement product. And Uber is, I don't want to say late to the game, but their ad team is definitely different from what you would see at other larger companies. So it almost feels like a startup building everything from the ground up. That's literally what I did for Drizzly. I was their first data scientist on the ad side. I'm now the first data scientist on the Uber ad side. I'm honestly pumped and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen. Let's talk about the different types of data science at Uber though, because that is something I learned over the last month, very different from what I've seen at my own company. At Uber, there are business organizations within Uber and also tech organizations. All applied scientists and all data scientists are in the tech org. Whether you're you're building for a specific part of Uber, you are all under a tech umbrella, a tech organization, and you report to the head of applied science or the head of data science. It's almost like you're contracted to these different teams and you're assigned different projects and different teams to support, but you're not on the team yourself. Another thing I want to mention in there, data science and applied science are two different things at Uber. What you would think of data science when it comes to machine learning models, statistical analyses, creating hypotheses, testing them out, that's actually called called applied science at Uber. And data science, while it may have some of those similarities, it's really product analytics. It's a very heavy analytics role where your end result may be to produce a dashboard to show your stakeholders, show your clients what's going on. Versus where in applied science, you're really building out those models on the back end. That may power dashboards, but it's not your responsibility at all times to build those out. What's interesting is I'm actually not in either of them because Uber Global Ads, it's a business organization, HR terms. What's interesting is on the Uber Global Ad side, it is a business org. It's very new, very small. Everyone has an analyst title. It's not really associated to the tech organization. So with that comes like so many differences in the roles within the company. That's what I've learned really, where someone may be called a business analyst, but really like they're doing the data engineering. They're doing all of the pipeline development. They're building out dashboards they're doing predictive modeling. So when you're applying to these larger companies, honestly, like sometimes forget what the title is and look at the role requirements. Like when you look at the data science role at Uber,
paper, it looks like a product analytics role. When you look at the applied scientist role, it looks like a data science role. So I think that's the biggest takeaway I will say about Uber. There's so many different organizations, so many different terminology structures that you really have to get, wrap your head around when you're applying. I want to talk about my current project roadmap. So just so you understand the kind of work I do for Uber ads or kind of work I'm doing for Drizzly, I still support Drizzly until December. It's still, it still exists. Like I just got moved over and after December, my goal is to focus on Uber ads and grow that. I built a multi-touch attribution model to see how users move throughout our app. And then it has predictive abilities. It's built using Markov chain. So at the end of a user's journey, you get a probability of whether they're going to buy something on the app or whether they're not. If we know all of this information about users, then you understand how ad tactics are working. You can actually quantify the impact and the effectiveness of your ad tactics in whatever your goals are, whether your goal is to convert a user and have them buy something or whether your goal is brand advertising. That was one project and a couple of other projects, just lots of forecasting models like sales forecasting, inventory forecasting, forecasting how many eyeballs you're going to get on the app. When someone's going to advertise with your platform, you need to promise a certain amount of eyeballs that you're going to get on that advertisement. All of that needs to be predicted out into the future. So that's generally what my work has been like at Drizzly. There's so many videos on this that I talked about my projects, so I won't go into it too much. And now for Uber, it's very new. I'm like the only one with the skill set I think on the team so far, so we don't really know what's going to happen. I assume I'm going to be building out similar things just with a different tech stack. And I think Uber Global Ads, it's really just now growing into a very large part of the organization. So I'm excited that I got in early. Now that I've kind of like went into the differences between like all of the terminology and HR between what a data scientist does, what a applied scientist does, there is a difference in salary, whether your job profile is analyst, data scientist, or applied scientist. It looks like for an applied scientist role, all of this is based in San Francisco because this is public data that's out there. The base range in San Francisco seems to be 149 to 165, right? And then above that, you're going to get a bonus, whether that's 10% to 30%, you know, that could be the general range. And above that, you're going to get a four year vesting stock package. So your total salary is not, you know, 149 to 165. It's probably closer to 250 to 300 after your bonus and after your stock starts vesting. While your four year stock is vesting, you're going to get new additions to that over time. That stock is really going to increase your salary. The longer you're at a company, the more rewarded you are with that extra stock. Now, looking at the data science role, the salary is very, very similar, slightly lower, but similar at 140 to 156 base. These aren't fake numbers. Like large companies have very stringent guidelines when it comes to things like this. You can't have individuality in terms of how you're paying someone unless like performance is to the max better than everyone else. You have to follow some sort of structure. So whenever you see all of these base salary ranges, at least at large companies for the base, it's right most of the time. And I I will say just looking at these bases and looking at the analysts like technical salary that I have right now it's pretty similar I will say they've been great to us my salary is higher than it was before at Drizzly so you could really check out any of my videos when I started working in data science I had a salary that wasn't more than $80,000 my total compensation is comfortably more than double of that I go through my phases all the time my friends know like I complain about salary I complain about things we all do that's human but also it's it's nice to reflect like you know where I am four years ago versus now someone who's thought they were gonna get a physics PhD and now is working in data science very corporate sellout maybe but like I'm not complaining I have fun working I'm gonna just touch on like my plan for the future a little bit this has been like a whirlwind definitely a shock I'm excited to be at uber I think that everyone I have met is absolutely fantastic I went to New York it was beautiful so many snacks I was hoarding snacks all day I met my team just great people so I just want to learn as much as possible with my time. I want to help make the best decisions for our data moving forward so that Uber Ads starts at a very strong foundation. And yeah, we'll see how everything goes. This is my update. Thank you for listening. I am going to start a series soon that is pretty technical. I'm going to call it 30 Days of Data, where every day I'm going to post a different Jupyter notebook on my GitHub. It's going to range from like machine learning models to data analysis. I feel like all of us just need to take a breather after 2023 and like everything that's going on right now in the market with jobs trying to apply and just like learn cool new data science things. So that is what I'm going to be working on. I do have a new role. Things are a little busy. So
so it might be slower with posting, but I'm excited. So I will see all of you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one.